Oh, yeah. YouTube, Google+, Facebook, Twitter. Welcome back to another exciting episode. Let's get this party started. Sorry, guys. I've been out for about a week. I had the flu, so I had to take a few days off. My son caught it, and then he gave it to me, so I was sick for a few days. So anyways, I am back. Oh, since I haven't done a video in about a week or so, there's been quite a few NX rumors here and there. And I haven't talked about any of them, mostly because I was sick. But the second reason is, when I was sick, I was thinking that uh, you read stories about one rumor discredits all the other rumors and so on. So there's a lot of false stories, even if they're rumors. Uh, it just seems like a waste of time posting all these rumors to just wait for the real thing. So kind of, kind of backing away from it a little bit, focusing on the actual real news of stuff that's going on that we know it's not rumors and focusing on the games which is what we should be focusing on the stuff that we do have the stuff that's fun rumors don't really fun they just kind of fill this uh, hype that people want but truly the fun thing is the games that we do have now such as Star Fox Zero Hyrule Warrior Legends on the uh, Nintendo new Nintendo 3DS 3DS so on so that's what I'm gonna talk about more on more of those things and even focus on the uh, classic games the retro games that I grew up with so uh, focus more on those things and less on rumors now that I said all that I am going to talk about just one rumor for the Nintendo NX and this says the software output will blow away the Wii U which is not really hard to do I don't think I don't think it's getting tons of flood of games anyways so hopefully that means that we're gonna see plenty of third-party support plenty of indie support plenty of Nintendo support which Nintendo of course can support it because it's their console but hopefully the other two really support it and it's all good it's not really much of a rumor I mean it's expected if they want to sell Nintendo NX and make it successful they're gonna make it games easily ported to it and get plenty of support so we shall see what happens and that is it for this NX rumor now going to some retro news which is pretty cool if you have a Nintendo NES system there has been a retro receiver it's a Bluetooth adapter it lets you use Bluetooth uh, controllers on your Nintendo NES so 8-bit Nintendo and analog have teamed up and is making this retro receiver and it's very simple basically just plug it into your controller port and it'll turn that into a Bluetooth signal and it'll allow you to use uh, any, any of the Bluetooth uh, controllers so it's supposed to work great it looks pretty cool I think it's going to be uh, the price is $19.99 and they have website that's hosting it is play asia so play asia if you know where that is so you can buy it so it's pretty cool so if you have a nintendo nes and you want to use bluetooth wireless controllers for it then this is a very cool idea now for gaming news it's actually been a very quiet week so there's not much to talk about the only thing is coming soon is the uh, river city ransom the tokyo rumble sp i think it's called or something like that it's coming soon. If you have played the River City Ransom games, then this one looks very cool. I like them actually. I think I started playing it. Actually, I got introduced late, so I played it when it came to the Game Boy Advance. I didn't play the original Nintendo version on the Nintendo NES. I played it much later when it came out remastered and uh, added some stuff to it on the uh, Game Boy Advance. But I really like the game. And so there's a new one coming. So it looks very cool. Okay, I'm going to switch over the video to some Hyrule Warriors Legends gameplay. And then I'll keep rambling on. It'll take me a second to switch over, so hold on a second. It's an awesome game. Okay, I'll let this run in the background. So let's get this party started. Here is Hyrule Warriors Legends running on new Nintendo 3DS. I think it's a very fantastic game and everyone should pick it up who loves either Dynasty Warriors or the Legend of Zelda series. Now I did beat Legendary Mode. 
I still have to get all the A ranks, so I didn't do that yet. I'm working on adventure mode. I'm probably like 70% done with that, maybe, I'm guessing. I still have to do a lot of A ranking stuff on that, too. And I'm now going to be playing free mode. I did unlock Skull Kid, but he didn't make the video because I unlocked him later after I filmed this. And I've got to say, I'm really glad that they added characters such as uh, female characters, especially, such as Linkle. It's, I really like that they've done that because females definitely can be heroes, also. I think they're called heroes. <laughs> Heroines. Either way, I'm really glad they did that. I think she's a fantastic character. Uh, hopefully they expand on her and give her some more storylines and hopefully we'll see her in the future in other games because I think she's a very good idea to the series. So this is, I'm gonna pick today uh, Ganondorf. I'm gonna pick all the uh, the bad guys just because the way he attacks is so, sort of funny. He's just like like a big bully. But uh, the character I've been playing the most, of course, is Link, Linkle. Those are the two main characters I've been playing. But I figured I'd switch it up today a little bit so you guys can see it. I actually think Linkle's a very interesting character. And I'm really more curious about this magical compass and thing. I think they could really do something with her character and make her an addition to the series and make it really interesting. So we shall see what happens in the future with that. There are so many interesting characters in this game in general. Okay, now back to the news. Tonight is an important night because it's the Nintendo investors meeting and a lot of people are speculating on these websites and things that there is going to be ta some talk about the Nintendo NX and from what I've been reading it sounds like these people are expecting like their Nintendo is just going to drop the bomb and give full details and all the games and the specs on the system and so on I don't see that happening for one thing we may get confirmation if it's coming in 2016 or not but we're not going to see much of anything else besides that, I, I would imagine. I can't imagine him uh, giving out all the details out, or they want to save all that stuff, all that hype, and all that stuff for E3 or whatever they're going to do it. So I don't see that happening. I just see them briefly saying, uh, you know, maybe it's coming 2016 or not, and so on. So either way, it'll be interesting to see what comes out of that and I will put that to this video when those details come. My notification buzzed on my 3DS and it says there is a new demo out. The new demo is Pocket Card Jockey made by Game Freak. It says stack cards like it's a race to the finish and it is. In this fast paced mashup of solitaire and horse racing you'll jockey your way to victory by clearing cards to energize your horse. You can level up your noble steed through strategic positioning on the track. Can you master the solitaire and horseback racing at the same time? Now, it sounds actually like an interesting game. I have to admit, I really don't know how to play solitaire. So I'm going to be learning that. But the horse racing part sounds interesting with cards. So I'm going to try it out. And it's made by Game Freak, like I said. So sounds interesting. I will post that video in the next couple of days and see what you guys think of it uh, while I play it, so we'll see. But it looks interesting. Now how many of you out there are still checking in on your Mitomo each day? I myself am still checking in each day for at least 10 minutes, and about 10 minutes a day I'd say, and that's it. I make sure I earn my coins that I can get so I can earn some rewards for some things to buy later on. The uh, first coins I got a thousand, and I picked up the WarioWare Touched, which was a fantastic game. I already had it, but I didn't have the digital download. These games that they're putting out on these digital download rewards, you can't get anywhere else, so it's pretty cool. 
So that's why I got the WarioWare touched, because it's a fantastic game. Now I'm saving up enough coins to buy that Hyrule Warriors, or not, it's not Hyrule Warriors, what I'm saying. It's Twilight Princess HD Picross game. So I'm looking forward to getting that next. But I chose, the first time I chose, and I took the uh, WarioWare Touch because it's a fantastic game. In Picross, I'm not a huge fan, so that's why I went with that one first. But now, since I have it, WarioWare touched I'm going for Picross, and I'm about 500 coins shy, so I'm going to earn that very soon to collect those, to collect that game. So anyways, it's pretty cool that they're doing exclusives like this. Uh, I hope they do a few others, and I'm sure they will, of course, they're going to rotate them in and out. I would like to see them put that, uh, there was a DS game, the Game & Watch, that you could only get through the old Club Nintendo. I believe you couldn't get anywhere else. But it was physical, but now they can do it digitally. And there was also a Tingle's Balloon Fight, the Tingle character from the uh, Legend of Zelda. So he's kind of an interesting character. There's a Balloon Fight game with him in it. And that was also, I believe, the only way you could get it is through the Club Nintendo in Japan, I believe. So seeing those two digitally would be pretty cool. And whatever other games for digital rewards that or exclusive to that where you could get nowhere else would be pretty cool kind of make it more of an incentive to earn coins and be interested in doing things like playing Mitomo and so on so it'll be interesting to see what they do in the future with it hopefully they speed up the game the uh, social network hopefully they make it so it's not it seems like it loads for a while and I don't know hopefully they can make it so you can give more answers more directly I don't know but I think it needs some tweaking here and there but overall it's still entertaining enough that I check in at least 10 minutes a day to see all my friends and what they're up to see who comes by the house and so on so I'm just curious if you guys are still checking in on yours or have you lost interest now to slowly slip off the subject for a second how many of you guys people out there are watching these all these superhero shows such as Gotham, The Flash, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, I know I'm forgetting a couple out there, Daredevil, are you guys watching any of those? I myself am watching every single one of them, really enjoying them. I haven't had time to watch The Walking Dead of all things, I know a lot of people really like The Walking Dead, but I haven't watched it really. I don't think I've even watched maybe maybe one episode. Maybe I'm not into zombies as much, I don't know. I'm into all these superhero things, so I gotta catch up. I gotta watch uh, The Flash today and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I saw the spoilers and I, I didn't, I saw the news postings, but I didn't read them because I don't want to be spoiled because I want to watch it. So I'm gonna watch it in a little bit after I finish this video. So I'm just curious, are you watching any of these shows, and what's your favorite? If you were asking me, I would say The Flash is very good. Gotham's good for certain characters. I like the Penguin on the Gotham. He's basically just as evil as the Joker, in a way. Uh, the episode's already two episodes back or so, but so I, it's not really a spoiler anymore. But at the end of the episode, he got back at somebody... Because they were, uh, I don't want to tell the whole story, but basically, he cooked uh, her daughter and her son, and she didn't know she was eating them. She thought she was eating a pot roast. <laughs> and then he said, which one do you like? And she said, it's bland. And she said, well, try the other one. And she said it was bland. And then he, he, he basically tells her that he found the poison and so on. I don't want to get the whole story, but basically he fed this girl her own children and she said they both were bland because she thought it was just normal pot roast and then when she realized what he fed her she saw you did it and she was horrified that he killed her but he's pretty wicked he's pretty evil so I was just like the way he, the way the cute his character is the way the way he talks and everything is really well done and really acted so very funny the flash has been fantastic just in general 
So I'm curious to see what happens with this. And Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is is pretty good overall. And uh, Legends of Tomorrow, I'm liking. I'm liking Supergirl. So there's quite a few of these superhero shows. I still have to watch Daredevil, so I can't make a judgment on that. I've only seen like two or three of them. But anyways, fantastic show. I know I need to watch The Walking Dead eventually because there's a lot of people out there who like The Walking Dead. And I will definitely put that on my list of things to catch up on. Okay, now I will stray back on target and talk about video game stuff. Sorry, I got sidetracked because I saw on one of the sites they had spoilers and then it just threw me off for a second there. Well, my show does cover... A little of everything, mostly video game stuff, but other things I find interesting. It's a super show, so it covers a little of everything, so uh, sorry anyways, and I will stray back to the video game stuff. One of the things I find interesting about Hyrule Warriors Legends, or, or things I find amusing, is when you find treasure in a, in a chest, each character opens it up a little differently. Like Ganondorf, when he opens up a chest, it's almost like he's disgusted. It's like, I have to open this up, and he throws it open, bullies it open. So it's pretty funny. So, anyways, yeah, it's a fantastic game. Is there anyone else out there who is watching this video who is playing this game also? And have you beaten both modes? Have you beaten the uh, Legend mode and Adventure mode? And unlocked all the characters so far? I have still working on it myself. I'm curious to see what the DLC and stuff is given going to give us. I already pre-purchased the uh, Street Pass, so I'm curious to see what kind of stuff we'll get. I know a lot of it's costume stuff for your fairies and stuff, but there are characters too. So, and I think some levels. If I'm correct, they're going to be adding levels to it. So. We shall see what that entails later on down the line. Right now, I'm not sure what I got. If, if I got anything yet with that DLC that I got. Because it's coming in installments, so I'm not sure what the first installments was. I think there was a costume, different costume for Ganondorf. But besides that, I don't know if anything else. So, we shall see. I haven't seen anything, noticed anything. You still have to unlock all the characters and things, so... We shall see. There was a court case with uh, Nintendo, the 3DS, infringing on a, a patent held by Tomita Technologies. And in the retrial, uh, Nintendo has won the case, so they will not have to pay any kind of royalties or things to this company. Nintendo 3DS is... Nintendo is very good at winning these cases and things against all these different patents and things, licensing issues and agreements and things. They definitely uh, really have good lawyers and they really make sure that they go with these judges and courts and things and win the cases. So they won the case in the retrial and they do not own any owe any kind of royalties to this uh, Tomita Technologies in a retrial and the whole thing was over the screen of the 3DS uh, this company was saying it was infringing on their patents and originally they won the case and there was a retrial and Nintendo won the retrial so that is over and 3DS won, Nintendo won I bet the people out there are playing one of two games, either they're playing Hyrule Warriors Legends that just came out, or they're playing Star Fox Zero. So which one are you guys playing? <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of Star Fox people out there playing, and I would play it too if I had a Wii U. I'm sure I would definitely play it, because it looks interesting. Uh, I don't have a Wii U, I just have a, a 3DS, new Nintendo 3DS. I guess I'm busy all the time and with family and kids and wife, all that stuff that it's just easier for me just to play the handheld, so that's what I do. What big games would you guys like to see come to the the Nintendo 3DS that could be ported from the Wii U? I mean, I think this Hyrule Warriors Legends 
did a pretty good job of being ported from a, a Wii U game. I know that the ratings were a mixed bunch, but I've played it and I'd still say it's an 8.5 out of 10, so I like it a lot. It has a lot more content than the Wii U version. Graphics aren't as strong, of course, but the, uh, the frame rates issue runs smooth and everything. On the older 3DS, it doesn't run as smooth. Uh, so, it kind of got mixed scores, I think, because of that. I think it should have been just a new Nintendo 3DS but game. But it, some people that I've seen comments said they, on the older 3DS they have it, and they said they're happy with it. So, I don't know. So, it's not my judgment call or whatever. So, they're making money on it, so it's selling, so... Uh, I think it's fantastic, so I'm just curious, what games do you think could be ported from the Wii U to the 3DS? Like this sort of type of game that could be successful. I was trying to think of that myself, and I can't really think of any games. I know Splatoon is being possible. The only game that I think they could possibly do is Mario Maker. What do you guys think? Do you think Mario Maker could be ported to new Nintendo 3DS? I'm just curious, thinking of things. Anyways, that is all for this episode. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and as always, have a good one. Take care, everybody.